Hi there, I'm Joel Gershman, co-founder of Digital Autopilot. I'm excited to share this video with you. This is a segment taken from our e-commerce growth engine course on how to drive more traffic, conversions, and profit from your e-commerce business. To access the full course, click on the link in the description below or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Really hope you enjoy. Hi, and welcome to module three, which is about converting traffic into sales. Now, you've hopefully set some goals for your business. You've also clarified your strategic direction, which includes who you'll target, how you differentiate yourself in their eyes, and your unique brand strategy. Now, it's time to ensure that your website does a great job of reflecting that strategy, so it converts visitors into paying customers. And that's what this module is all about. In particular, we're gonna focus on a few things. We're gonna start by introducing you to the three growth drivers. Now, this introductory video is gonna focus primarily on those growth drivers. And then future videos within this module are gonna focus on uh, your website conversion audit, we're going to give you a framework for auditing your website and working out how you can optimize your conversion rate. We're also going to introduce some strategies for engaging what we might call not yet ready to buy visitors. People who have come to your site, not yet ready to take action. What do we do with those people? How do we engage them? And finally, we're going to look at how automated emails fit into that process and how you can use them to nurture and convert potential customers into actual paying customers. Let's begin by looking at the three growth drivers. These are the three things that are gonna underpin your growth as a business. Now, what are they and how exactly do they work? Let's explore. So the three growth drivers are as follows. Number one is the amount of traffic you generate. This relates to the number of people who come to your site as a result of all the different things you might do to advertise and market your business. That's the first growth driver. The second growth driver refers to your conversion rate of those visitors to sales. Obviously, the higher your, converger, your conversion rate, the, the, the higher your growth. And then finally, um, what we refer to as customer growth. This is the value you generate from each customer which is a function of, number one, your average transaction value, and two, the number of transactions per customer per year. Now, growth in even one of these drivers can significantly increase revenue, right? Obviously, for example, if you're bringing more traffic to your site, even if your conversion rate remains constant and your average transaction value and number of transactions per customer per year stay constant, you will grow, right? But here's the interesting thing. Growth among or along a number of these drivers creates a multiplier effect that can literally revolutionize your business. So if you're looking for profitable growth, you should focus your time, energy, and resources around each of these three growth drivers. Now, how exactly do you tap into the three growth drivers? Now, there's one thing you need to do. And if you do it well, it's literally a game changer, right? You need to guide customers along a journey from becoming aware of your business and desiring what you have to offer through to ultimately buying your product or service, right? coming back for more, and ultimately referring you to others. We call this the customer journey. You see, every customer moves through what we might call a six-phase, partly unconscious mental process when making purchase decisions. As you can see in the diagram, prospects actually ask themselves a number of questions as they journey through this buying process. Right, number one is awareness. The first question a prospect will ask is, do I know you? which means that you need a proactive, deliberate, and comprehensive advertising strategy for capturing the attention of your target market, especially online. That's number one. Next is desire. Once they know you, the next question they ask is, do I need you? Do I want you? 
Rather than assuming that people who see your advertising will automatically engage with you, you need a deliberate strategy to build enough desire for people to want to engage with you. That's step two. Step three is evaluation. Even if a prospect needs you, they won't necessarily purchase from you until they've answered a third question. Do I trust you? Don't assume everyone who visits your site trusts you enough to buy. Create trust deliberately by giving them an opportunity to evaluate you. We'll talk more about how to do that. Um, That's number three. Number four is commitment. Once you've built trust, prospects will ask themselves a fourth question. Do I buy now? Make it easy for them to commit by reducing risk and creating a sense of urgency. Number five is return. Once a customer has made a purchase, they ask a fifth question. Do I buy more? Do I buy again? Look for opportunities to create more value from your existing customer relationships by motivating them to buy more and more often. And finally, number six is advocacy. After experiencing your offering, customers will ask a sixth and final question. Do I tell others? Proactively inspire your happy customers to become advocates who do your marketing for you rather than passively relying on word of mouth. Now, that's the basic journey that your prospects ideally go through. I say ideally because, of course, many businesses don't proactively and deliberately guide prospects through this journey. There are holes, so to speak, in their process, meaning that many prospects end up falling through the gaps at various stages. Think about it. If you're paying money for advertising to bring new visitors to your site, but many of those visitors are falling through holes in the journey, you're actually wasting money. And of course, you're limiting your growth. The reality is that to build a growing e-commerce business, or any business for that matter, you'll need to guide prospects through the journey proactively and deliberately. And this is precisely where the opportunity lies for you. Because if you can guide prospects efficiently and effectively through that six-phase process, you can rapidly accelerate your growth. And in doing so, you can make your marketing dollars work even harder for you. In this module, we're going to focus on the second growth driver, your conversion rate of visitors to sales. Remember, there's no point thinking about how to bring visitors to your site or how to sell more to to your existing visitors, for that matter, if your site doesn't do a really good job of converting them into paying customers in the first place. And so in the next few videos, we're going to explore exactly how to improve your conversion rate. Thanks very much. I really hope you enjoyed this training video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share with others so they can benefit too. And to access the full e-commerce growth engine course, just click on the link in the description below. Good luck growing your e-commerce business.